Hello, this video on NanoCAD is going to be about using absolute and relative coordinates or and or polar coordinates to specify points when you're drawing uh, features in NanoCAD, so lines or rectangles or circles, whatever. Anywhere you need to specify a point, you need to use an absolute coordinate, a relative coordinate, and either a Cartesian or polar. So to start off we'll have a quick explanation of what all this means. Uh, on the screen here I've got a little box showing you the, the Cartesian coordinate system. So that's just your standard x, y uh, axes and you specify a point on a Cartesian plane with an x and y coordinate. That's pretty straightforward, most of you will know that. Um, if you want to specify a point using polar coordinates down here uh, you use distance and an angle so to specify that we point there you would use that distance and that angle and in NanoCAD we uh, have this nomenclature to, to write it in the command line you put the distance then the less than symbol and then the angle so for example if you had a distance of 10 meters and an angle of 45 you'd write 10 less than 45 uh, and we'll do some examples of that in a minute <coughs> the other thing to uh, be aware of is the difference between absolute coordinates and relative coordinates so absolute coordinates reference uh, the 0 0 point in your Cartesian plane your um, uh, what do you call that? That's your your origin, I guess. It's way down this thing, way down here. Um, that zero zero point that we all know about down there. Uh, now, relative coordinates uh, relative to the last point drawn. So, if we drew a point um, in space at say a coordinate of 10, 10, then relative uh, to that, if you did another 10, 10, it would actually be a coordinate of 20, 20. Um, this will all become clear in the next um, stage of this video. Essentially what it means though is you have four different ways of drawing any point. You can use a Cartesian um, coordinate and that can be absolute or relative and you can use a polar coordinate and that can be absolute and relative. So we'll flip over to a blank document and um, I'll show you what that means. I've got another one set up here so we'll just switch to a, this is another blank um, grid. So let's try drawing some lines using these different coordinate systems. So essentially I've got a 100 meter by 100 meter grid set up as we've used in other videos and I'll draw a line so we'll go to our line tool over here and we'll have a starting point um, the command line window says specify the first point so you can either type that in here or you can select one on the screen let's type in 10 comma 10 so that's a Cartesian coordinate at the point 10 x equal to 10 and y equal to 10. Enter and see the wee dot there and the line starts to form so uh, the command line window says specify the next point so you can either choose the next point on here or specify one so if we were to go um, in that example I used a second ago if we specify the next point at 20 comma 20 that's another Cartesian one <coughs> that will draw draw it there. Now to finish that line just push escape or enter and it cuts it off. Right so that's your basic Cartesian coordinate using an absolute value relative to zero so the first point was at 10 10 relative to zero and the second point was at 20 20 relative to zero. Let's just select that and delete it 
and we'll draw another one using a Cartesian, we'll say we'll draw a line using a Cartesian um, <coughs> excuse me, coordinate but with relative coordinates. So I'll put the first point in, it's just a standard 10, 10. You can see our dot there and there's our line for me. Now in order to do use relative, you have to use the at symbol in front of your coordinate. So we just use at and then so relative to the first point we want to go up 10 and across 10 as well so if we go relative 10 comma 10 that gives us our line and notice last time we had to put in 20 20 to get to that point which is relative to 0 but our second point we put in relative to the first one so it's 10 across and 10 up from the first point so different way of drawing it and that can be quite handy when you're a long way out and you don't know where you are relative to your um, origin so um, for example if we're going to draw another one another line up here somewhere and we couldn't guess where it couldn't work out where it was put the first point there we can still draw the next point at 10 comma 10 and it will give us the same type of line without having to figure out exactly where that would have ended all right let's get rid of those lines and we'll draw some lines using polar coordinates now so we'll get our line tool going again uh, specify the first point so if we were just we'll just use 10 10 again 10 comma 10 seems to be easy to do and now the, the next so the next point we want to go out some distance and up some angle so we we'll use the polar coordinates for this so we'll go out so we went out 25 at an angle of now let's go 45 to make it nice and simple. There we go. So what we have to note here is that the 25 meters is from the origin. So it's 25 meters out from the origin to the end of that line and it's at 45 degrees. Right. Let's try polar with absolute, uh, with relative coordinates. So we'll pick a line tool again. We'll start our first point at 10, 10. There's our line starting to be drawn. Now, if we go to go relative with polar coordinates, so we'll use the at symbol for relative, and then we went 25 at an angle of 45 get a completely different looking line. It's 25 meters long this time at an angle of 45. So not 25 meters from the origin to the next point. So you have to be aware of these different types of um, ways of specifying points and lines. Uh, but once you get the hang of it they're very easy and it's very simple. The other thing to um, notice about NanoCAD is that there's a button down the bottom here which says Polar and if you hover over it it says Toggle Polar Tracking. That allows you to um, have guidelines pop up at various angles and if, if you right click on the button it has a selection of angles you can use standard angles so if we choose 90 degrees there for a second and then draw another line and we can go anywhere with this to start drawing a line there you'll notice that every time I go to pass a 90 degree angle the polar tracking puts a green guideline up and it pops up with a little box next to the cursor saying 20 meters at an angle of 90 and 
if we keep going around when we get to the next 90 degree angle and we'll say the distance out at an angle of 180 and we keep going around distance out at an angle of 270 so that just allows you to quickly draw lines at pretty much any angle you choose so if you're only wanting to draw 90 degree angles this is quite a good way to do it you could also use the ortho tool which only lets you draw lines in x or y directions um, but pole is good if you want to have some other funny angle say you wanted to draw angles at 22 degrees then every time you go through a 22 degree angle it will pop up and say here's my next 22 degrees and it, it's quite handy having that little box that pops up and tells you which angle you're at especially when you get down to smaller not so obvious angles like if you're doing 10 degrees it's pretty hard to tell some random line what angle it's at but that polar tracking will pop up and tell you the angle okay that's all for this video hope that helps see you in the next one